The next stage is to assign the disks to the individual controllers. The initial controller itself, their disks have already been allocated 50-50 to SAN1 and SAN2. However, as you know, we've also installed a shelf. By default, those disks are not owned by either of the controllers. And what we have to do is go through and allocate each of those disks to the individual controller. So we can see this by doing the command disk show. So this shows us each of the disks and which SAN owns them. The disks are split evenly, so we'd expect to see 12 disks for SAN 1 and 12 disks for SAN 2. The shelf has 24 disks and these are unowned and we need to allocate these evenly between the two controllers. Now we can see all the un unallocated or unowned disks by using the dash n command. And this is the ID, and this is the fact they're not owned, with their serial number. So what we're gonna do is go through SAN 1 first and allocate 12 disks to SAN 1, and then we're gonna to connect to SAN 2 and allocate the last 12 disks to SAN 2. Okay, to assign the disk, we simply type disk assign and then the disk name. So 0B A1 22. Okay, and it says this has now become owned by SAM1. If we do a disk show, we can now see that that is assigned to SAM1. If we do all our unassigned disks, we can now see that there are 23 unassigned disks and there's 23 on there. So there is a command to issue all unknown disks to a controller. The problem here is that we need to split these between two controllers. So that command would not be particularly useful. If we were adding two shelves, then we could add one shelf, assign all those disks, then add another shelf, and then assign all those disks to the other controller. But as we're not doing that, we're gonna just manually go through and assign the disks. This will take a few moments. Right, we need to make sure that we haven't assigned too many, so I'm just gonna issue a disk show. It tells me we've got 13 unknown disks. As we're splitting the 24 between the two, we need to assign one more disk. So if we now do disk show, we can see there's 12 unknown disks and that we have now 24 disks assigned to SAN1. So now we're gonna jump over to SAN2 and do the same thing again. We're now at SAN2 and we're gonna issue a disk show. We should see the same, that's 12 unallocated disks. This will give us the 12 unallocated disks and we're now going to assign those disks. Now we've finished, we can issue a disk show and we should see no unassigned disks. We've now assigned all the disks to each individual controller. The next part is to add these disks to the aggregate group. I'm James Sillett and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can contact me by any of the means shown below.